considered to be one of the most beautiful places in the country. With its open fields, breathtaking mountain views, and of course the majestic Hudson River, we couldn't ask for a better place to live. I hope you agree with me. In this great area, we have wonderful parks for our children to play in, and numerous trails to take our dogs on to enjoy, this joy, uh, enjoy the gorgeous scenery. However, people are taking advantage of Mother Nature with their trash. We've all done it or seen someone do it. For those of us who are more conscientious about littering, how infuriating is it to see someone blatantly send trash out the window? That someone adds up by thousands of others by throwing their trash on the grounds. 51.2 billion pieces of debris are left on roadways and streets. That's about 6,729 pieces of debris per mile. Littering is a major problem in this country. So why do people do it? Why do people litter? Well, why do you bite your nails? It's a bad habit. Once you do it for the first time, it's hard not to do it again. It's just so easy to let go of that used up napkin or empty water bottle. People say it's not their responsibility to pick up after themselves. Someone else would do it, like the custodian or their mom. There are no roadside picking up trash departments. People that volunteer their time or do community service are trying to make a difference. As Earth Day has just passed, you may have noticed or heard people getting together to clean up the sides of the roads. I saw quite a few very full, large orange trash bags to be picked up. Those people are the ones that get it. People, uh, we have to stop talking about it and actually get there, go out there and do it. People see, uh, that see litter on the ground only believe it's an eyesore. However, it can be hazardous as well. 20, uh, 25,000 car accidents happen, and more than 80 fatalities are caused by debris. Can you believe that trash can lead to deadly accidents? How hard is it to wait for the closest garbage can? Is it really that tedious to have to hold something for a little while longer? Now, I'm not trying to act like a bad guy. <laughs> this is just the truth about littering. But there are positive solutions that will stop this madness before it gets any worse. One of the best improvements is to recycle. According to the NRDC, that's the National Resource Defense Council, if we follow through a strategy that involves removing 75% of waste in this country, 1.5 billion jobs will be created by 2030. What's also following through this strategy, that would mean, uh, mean removing 276 million metric tons of waste. That's like eliminating the emissions from 72 coal-fired power, uh, power plants, or taking away 50 million cars off the road. Significantly, significantly reducing the air pollution, saving water and energy, and building economically strong and healthy communities Sounds like a good idea to me. Good idea to me. I don't know about you guys. The constant littering will only do this world harm. Some people believe that the things they throw on the ground will eventually decompose. It's actually not that simple. A styrofoam container, like the one we use to put coffee in on the go, takes almost a million years to decompose. An aluminum can takes about 200 to 500 years. A leather shoe takes 45 years to on the way from another <laughs> a wool sock is about a month, and a banana, a banana peel takes about three to four weeks. Even the things that come from nature take a while to decompose. The other things that I mentioned take longer because it is fighting with Mother Nature. These products just don't break down. Everything in this world leaves a carbon footprint, which is by definition the measure of carbon dioxide emissions that are directly and indirectly are caused by the activity of a product's life or a person. This contributes to greenhouse gas emissions, which, can call, um, which leads to climate change, which isn't good either. People between the ages of 16 to 24, that's about us, are accused the most for littering. It's because we are fast-paced, fast-moving, and fast food. People like us are always on the run, whether it's to school, to work, or to a party. We can't seem to find the time to have a bag in our car or save all water bottles and soft drink containers for recycling. But we can change these bad habits. For instance, put a cardboard box in your trunk for all empty bottles and cans. 
After it's full, go to the store and recycle them while getting your deposit back. Reuse the plastic bags by using it as trash bags in your car. The elimination of littering can and will do great things for our future. I cannot stress how important it is to stop littering. Take that bad habit and turn it into a good one by reduced littering and recycling materials. Every little bit counts. If I have changed at least one person's attitude in um, this room about littering, that will reduce a significant reduction in our nation's waste. For the sake of our future and our children's future, let's keep these beautiful trees free of plastic bags and our sidewalks, um, not our, have our sidewalks infested with cigarette butts and fast food wrappers. I want to make sure the ones after us enjoy the beautiful Hudson Valley like we are. Reduce, reuse, recycle.